Welcome back to my real life car builds in GTA 5. I've got another DLC car for you from the ill-gotten gains DLC that came out recently. So in this video we're going to be using the Pegasi Osiris to create the Pagani Weira. I'm pretty sure I got the pronunciation of that right. I looked it up on Wikipedia and apparently Weira Tata is the Incan Goat of Wind. Of course if you speak Spanish and I've made a complete mockery of that pronunciation be sure to let me know. This car is a bit of a beast, it's got a 6 litre twin turbo Mercedes AMG V12 and this was specially designed for this car and it puts out 720 horsepower. Top speed is about 231 miles per hour or 372 kilometers an hour and it'll do 0 to 100 or 0 to 62 miles per hour in just over 3 seconds. One of the most interesting features about the Pagani Weira is the active aerodynamics. So instead of having spoilers and different bits and pieces on the car to push the car down, it will actually change the ride height and it has different panels which will pop up and change direction to uh, alter the aerodynamics over the car. These cars are pretty rare, they only had a short production life, and the version that we're going to do is the 730S, which I believe they only made one of, it was a special order. Anyway, once you've got your hands on a Pegasi Osiris, we're going to roll into Los Santos Customs. So like I said, the build that we're going to be trying to replicate is the Pagani Weira 730S. So the first thing that we're going to do is go into paint and under metallic we're going to choose dark blue. For the secondary colour I've chosen black which is under matte which is going to give the underside of the car a nice black appearance. For the pearl I've gone for diamond blue and that just makes sure that those highlights are nice and neutral but also pop at the same time. I've left the spoiler as none, I think this is pretty important for this build. For the skirts I've gone for the carbon race skirts. For the wheel type I've gone for the split 6 which are listed under sport and for the wheel colour I've gone for race yellow and I think this is a pretty close match for the real life car. For the exhaust there's nothing that really matches the real life car so I've just gone for the chrome tip. Now under bumpers for the front I've gone for the carbon race splitter and for the rear I've just left it stock. For the window tint I've left this as light smoke and for the suspension we're going to slam it to the ground. And of course so that this is a proper hypercar we're going to max out all the other performance upgrades. This is definitely a very good looking car and it also handles pretty well. I will say though that the engine note is a little bit underwhelming, but you can't have everything. Anyway, as usual, I've left all my customization options in the description field so you can go ahead and build your own Weira. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I want to thank you for watching and I'll catch you later. it up on Wikipedia and apparently Weiwa Tawawa.